Banks back to Donovan across the blue line. Yeah, the Bulldogs feeling much better the after winning three or four games last week, which included a 5-3 win over Oshawa on Sunday. Thanks to two goals from our next Meet the Bulldogs guest this week, and it's a last name we know. Happy to be joined by Bulldogs rookie forward, Florian Jackeye. And we'll get to your bro older brother coming up, because like when he was on the show last year with us, I had to go through the whole last name thing because yeah. it's a weird, weird spelling so he kind of took me through that so he has he kind of like paced you through a lot of things when it comes to your last name and how people say it yeah i mean he's pretty big right now so obviously everyone knows how to pronounce it so it's easy when they see me they just i'm just the younger jack guy so. right you're just the you're just the little brother yeah um congratulations man having a great season though yeah thanks a lot how's, how's it going in your eyes it's pretty good so far we had a, a little bit of a rough start but now we're uh, turning the page so yeah right on so listen just like your brother hamilton boy so what's it what's it mean to like like where did you play as a kid? Uh, I played for the Huskies right. all the way in, up to minor midget and then the Bulldogs. So yeah, it's like a dream come true playing for the OHL Bulldogs. Yeah, and last year you played for um, Pelham Panthers. Pel Pelham Panthers yeah. in the the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League. Yeah. So it, it was and you and you led the team in scoring. So that's uh, that's good. But you're you're like your brother though too, where you didn't get drafted into the OHL. So like, what were your options coming into this, into the this season or after that season was over? Well, yeah, I obviously had a few offers from some OHL teams. So I had like a little range to choose what team I wanted to pursue. And obviously, him playing for the Bulldogs and I'm winning a championship. He told me a lot of stuff about the organization and. I picked uh, yeah, here because he came over. He was with Kitchener, right? He came over last year and then uh, and then had a great season. And, and you were there with your whole family because how big is the whole family? So uh, your mom and dad, six of us, there's six of you yeah. all together. So you guys were all there on, on the night you guys won the OHL title. Yeah, how, how, we oh, there's the picture there, the whole of the fam jam. How, <laughs> how special was that? Yeah, I mean, that was huge. Like, obviously, it's a once in a lifetime thing for him. And uh, it's just good that we're there to support him. Right. How big a deal is it that like, you have a good friend on the team, too, that you played with growing up as a kid? Or? Uh, yeah, Adrian Rebello. Right. So what's it like having a pal on the team, too? Yeah, I mean, like, it's it's good. Oh, you guys mean business in that <laughs> pick. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, uh, we were more comfortable coming into the team together. So, uh, yeah, it was good to start things like that. Okay. So let's talk a little, uh, let's talk about the big bro. Because he is doing pretty well with the Habs. What's, yeah. it, what's it like for you watching him? I mean, it's like a dream come true. Obviously, your brother... Uh, Playing for the Montreal Canadiens, like it still hasn't hit me yet, but uh, it's awesome. Like that's oh, that's opening night. You and your dad were there opening night. I remember seeing a picture. Like, yeah, what we was were. it like for, or even for your dad seeing his name announced? And yeah, I mean, like that was both of our first uh, Habs game, especially in that barn. It was our first time there, so it was crazy how loud it was, and like, especially hearing his name get called, like it was surreal. Okay, um, he's a tough guy. Right, yeah. he can he he mixes he mixes it up as we as we see here. Yeah. So I I have a brother, I have a younger brother, and like my younger brother as kids would always try to be picking on me, try to and I try to toss him around. And then he got bigger than me. Yeah. <laughs> you're a big guy. What's the size difference between the two years? He still got me by an inch or two, but yeah. Okay, so like what kind of roughhousing was there in the jack I had growing up as kids? I mean, there was a lot. Like we always loved to like wrestle and stuff, but he'd obviously always win. But uh, I'm gonna fill out in the next. Obviously, couple always years. win. Okay, so yeah, you need you need a little wor yeah. little work to do to, yeah. to get on that. And what would mom and dad say if you're if you're rough roughhousing in the house? I mean, they, they didn't like it, but <laughs> they couldn't really stop it. So. Okay, uh, let's get you ready because you guys got a five-game homestand, so this is pretty exciting. It starts tomorrow, so tomorrow is a is a uh, school day game. So you're gonna have like five thousand screaming kids watching you guys play the Barry Colts. What's that gonna be yeah, like? Yeah, no, it's gonna be awesome. Like I was always a kid coming to the school games, and it was insane. Yeah. So to be a person on the ice and for all the kids to watch, I mean, it's gonna be that's, crazy. It's just coming full circle. So yeah, yeah so that's a, that's at ten thirty. Let's get you set for the weekend because two big games of the weekend because you have the best team in the OHL. They've only lost once. The Oshawa, no, sorry, the um, Ottawa 67s coming into town for a Friday night matchup against the Bulldogs, and then they got the. Saginaw spirit in there on uh, Saturday afternoon. So a good little homestand to get things back on track, which you guys already did after uh, after a little blip in the schedule. So great to meet you. Best of luck this season. Uh, keep doing some great things. Yeah, thanks a lot. Florian Jack Guy from the Hamilton Bulldogs.